So let's take a look at estimating a square root to the nearest tenth. But before we can estimate to the nearest tenth, we, ha we have to be able to estimate to the nearest whole number. So the nearest whole number, we'll take a look at that. The closest perfect square root to 42 on the lower side is the square root of 36. And of course, the square root of 36 is 6. And the closest perfect square root above 42 on the right-hand side would be 49. And that is the square root of 7. So we're looking at a value that is going to fall between 6 and 7, something that is in between there. But let's estimate to find out which one is closest to just to get a whole number estimation. So we can see that 36 is how far from 42? It is 6 spaces away. And 42 is how far from 49? Well, 49 minus 42 is 7. Which one is it closest to? Well, it's closest to the square root of 36. So if we were going to estimate to the nearest whole number, we would say that it is 6, and we would be done. But we want to estimate to the nearest tenth. So let's consider estimation of what you've seen before. Let's say I was to write down the number 5.468. And I told you, okay, estimate that to the nearest whole number. Well, you might look over here and you say 5.4. Well, that's closer to, to 5, right? Because it's 5.4. It's not quite halfway there. I'm going to go ahead and say that that estimation is 5. Well, that's great. That's a good job. You did a great job estimating. But let's say I wanted to go to a higher level of precision. I said, let's estimate to the nearest hundredth. Well, if I do that, then I'm going to wind up getting 5 point, And I look at this number to the right, this hundredth value, and that says that I need to move that up. So I would wind up with 5.5. Oh, no, you say. But if I round up to 5.5, then that means I have to take this up to 6. And oh, no, what's happening? No, it's OK. You estimated to the nearest whole number, and you got 5. You estimated to the nearest tenth, and you got 5.5. It's OK. So let's take a look at that and use that based on what we know about uh, our square roots. So we've estimated to 6. We're just going to put that off to the side. We're not concerned about that right now. Right now, we're looking at getting to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to erase all this. I'm going to erase this. You can, you can remember that that was 6, if that makes you feel better. We haven't changed any of the other facts about this problem. 42, the square root of 42 is still between the square root of 36 and 49, which means what is my estimation's whole number going to be? Well, if it is between 6 and 7, I'm going to use 6 as my whole number. So I'm going to write a 6 right over here. It's going to be 6 point something. That means that the value for the tenth is going to have to lie somewhere between here at 0 and here at 10. Now I know that it's pretty close to the middle because it's roughly 6 on this side and 7 on that side. So it's probably going to fall, if I had to guess, I'd have to say it's going to fall somewhere in this range right in here. So let's go ahead and choose some possibilities. All right, so if I think it's going to fall in this area, then I'm going to choose maybe 6.4. And I'll also choose 6.5. And I'm going to guess and check. That's the second step that I have up there. The first is to estimate to the nearest whole number. And then second, I'm going to guess and check to try to find that tenths place. So we'll make that 6.4 and 6.5. And I'm going to multiply that by itself. Because in order to find the square root, you're choosing a number that when multiplied by itself gives you that number. In our case, 42. So I know it's going to be between 6 and 7. I know it's going to be probably to the left of 5. So I'm going to multiply 6.4 times 6.4. Now, that's pretty close to 42, right? We're pretty close to 42. Let's see if we can get any closer and still be under that middle point. So let's see if we can get any closer to 42. So let's do 6.5 times 6.5. 12, 42.25. So now I have two numbers that are very close to 42. I have 40.96 and I have 42.25. Which one of those is closer to 42? Well, 40.96 is how far from 42? Well, it's 1.04. 1.04 away from 42. Over here on this side, I'm 0 0.25 away from 42. That being the, the case, which one of these is closer? Is it 6.5 or 6.5? 
it is actually 6.5. We know that this one is actually the better approximation. Now, if I was going to estimate down to the closest one hundredth, I would probably choose, I would definitely choose this one. But I'm not interested in getting down to the one hundredth. I'm just going to the nearest tenth. And the nearest tenth is 6.5. So I'm going to go with 6.5 as my final answer. Now, if I punch that into my calculator, what do I get? So I enter in the square root of 42, right? And this is what I get. I don't know if you can read that, but let's take a look at it. That says that the square root of 42, it's backwards there, so you can't really read it very well, but it says that it is 6.4807. So let's write it out, 6.4807. Now, what is that closest to? Is it closer to 6.4 or 6.5? Well, if I round this up to the nearest tenth, if I round that 8 up, I get 6.5. So, I have guaranteed, proven with my calculator, that the estimate, the closest estimate, is 6.5. So, my answer is 6.5. Now, you won't have your calculator to guess with it, but if you follow these steps that I've given you, you will get the closest approximation. Estimate to the nearest whole number, choose the lower value. That's what we did. We chose 6, which was lower than 7, chose the lower value. Guess and check for the tenth place. So we tried four and we tried five. We multiplied out. Then we checked the distance between this one, 6.4, which gave you 40.96, and 42.25. We checked how close that was to 42.25. And that gave us our answer. We're done.